There, Patrick. Hello, William. How are you this week? Feels like we're doing it here, doesn't it? Like we're, we're around, bring, like Robs and Jerome or something. Do you yeah, know who that is? I do. They yeah. did uh, they Tinker, pe- not Tinker Taylor, Soldier Spy, Soldier Soldier, Soldier Soldier. Ah, uh, you should have watched that. They spell fast. And, and the movie. We weren't allowed to watch it. Were you not? Even though it was good, we weren't. I had to secret, <laughs> had to secretly watch it. My dad had a copy and he fucking got me kneecapped or something. I don't care how good their on chain <laughs> melody <laughs> is. Jerry Adams at the door. <laughs> I believe your son's watching Soldier Soldier. <laughs> we're 30 seconds in and Paddy's busting out the Jerry Adams. <laughs> Yeah, we're right, right. So the reason we're round one mag today, like we're fucking Mumford and Sons here, is uh, just the cable for one of them didn't work. And instead of not doing the show, we soldier soldiered on. Yes. And now we're just round the one. Now we're just round the one. Yes. Sorry for la- not having one out last week. Your boy got the vaccine. Very sick. Um, so, so he said. It's all a ho- Well, I don't know why everyone assumes if I can't be somewhere, I'm just not going. <laughs> I just think that. You, you, you done a gig last week got a few quid and the money from it you've just went and bought a load of cat and you were just <laughs> fucked for a few days now Paddy says this doing the gig with me in the van to Enniskillen as I'm fucking like near asleep <laughs> no he wasn't he was sniffing coke all the way down he was fine <laughs> <laughs> and the gig was great do yeah, cocaine yeah, children yeah 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 the gig was class. Um, I don't know if we should fuck it do you want to talk about it why not so uh, we did a wee private stag party Um, I'd never done a stag party before Paddy you've done loads yeah Right, so it was a private stag party. Fuck me, they're so fun. Oh, that was good. Like, I was nervous, like, how would stand up work? We were just getting paid to go in, slobber, like, fuck at people, do a bit of jokes and leave. It was amazing. Yeah, it's brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant. But when he says we got paid, like, we did donate all the money, every penny of it. To my dealer. To, um, well, he did his half. Shout out, Big Cricket. I donated the money to Donkeys with Three Legs Charity in uh, Achille. What? <laughs> I would like to have that. There was a guy in my school used to do fundraising for donkeys, like homeless donkeys. These are all axe racing donkeys. And they only have three legs. <laughs> what happens to their legs? Somebody cut them off. <laughs> for like health reasons or? No, I think it's like a trophy. Fuck. I think they keep, the, he, they keep the leg as a trophy, don't they? I don't know who they is, but I don't know. I don't hunt donkey legs. The guy that races them. <laughs> Is that actually what they did? They'll take their leg and... No, I'm joking. I'm I know, I thought you were being serious. I was like, is that what happened to Oscar Pistorius? <laughs> I was a donkey. He was winning flat out and they're like, I'm going to keep them as trophies. Somebody actually put that up on Facebook the other day. It was like, name something that doesn't have legs and runs. And I was about to write Oscar Pistorius and then I went, nah, not because that's grim. And I wrote water. And then 20 comments below mine was like, why did you not say Oscar Pistorius? <laughs> How did all these people know what I was thinking? <laughs> it's like they're disappointed when I don't do something. Yeah. Say something. When you don't do something mad, everyone's like, that's not why I came here. Yeah, but I, I only follow you. I, so he says that the other day, I only follow Conor McGregor to see what you're going to say. And he made Stu the other day and I had literally nothing to say to him. And I was like, I don't know how to slag him here. He's making stew in a warm country. It's something I done in Turkey every year when we were there. So you go to a foreign country and you make stew? Yeah. Why? Because I'm a fiend. That's what we do with him. <laughs> Imagine going to like a different country and making the same shit meal you have with a shit here. No, it's stew. not shit. Stew uh, is amazing. I like potatoes, so it's immediately off the table for me. Oh, right, okay. Do you know what I mean? It's, like, it's bogging. So that's, it's an honor. But at the same time, Stu's amazing. You're in fucking I mean, Turkey. Have yeah. a kebab. Mate, you have him all the time. Just <laughs> you have Stu all the time? No, I don't. <laughs> You're that guy who gets to like Benidorm and has to find an Irish bar. No, I'm not. I'm you that fucking are. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm really not. Because I, I, I spoke about this to somebody else. I don't get why people like go to Spain, right? and say Santa Ponza if you're from Andy Town you go to Santa Ponza yeah. and then you find a bar that sells harp yeah. and you'll pay 20 quid for a pint of harp which is only a fiver back home Yeah. and you'll buy a, a newspaper from a shop that's two days old and you'll pay a fiver for that as well Yeah. I don't get people to do that no no no. no. I, th- I generally thought that was going to be you no no um, right I like to sample the local 
yeah sing I do that with it like I'm like I want to taste drinks I've never had before I want a meal that I probably won't enjoy mm-hmm. but I can at least say I tried it right okay do you know what? see if I go somewhere foreign but as long as it's not stew as long as there's no potatoes in no I'll eat it my mate was opening a cafe in Belfast a couple of years ago and he was like I really want to have a big like media storm and I went very very easy to do I says Michaela McCallum book her to work one day in the place she was just home from like jail in Peru and I was like get her in and put her outside it in a big chalkboard come and try Michaela's Peru stew I says it would cause a media storm could you imagine her first job working in a cafe in Belfast yeah. just for days just pay her three grand pay her whatever she wants for the one day because she couldn't pay for that yeah, Mo Robinson's doing the food deliveries <laughs> what me <laughs> a meat was in date when I got it oh my god I, <laughs> I was going to say something there and I would have fully regretted it <laughs> fully regretted it you couldn't have edited it out of my brain what I was about to say there thank god I didn't say it uh, I, I held back part of me is like I want to know what he's thinking but also knowing you and I was if about it's too to bad say, for you to I say I was about it. to say Mo would have turned around and went listen I'm not delivering any of Chinese shit fuck I hear that one my it's so bad it's so bad I hit my brain sometimes that's terrible that's awful <laughs> do you remember when that thing kicked off him there's loads of people being like I know him he wouldn't do that and it took them like a day to find him guilty I used to, I used to go to the tractor show with Mo he's 100% that bad I love when people do it's like we played football we were seven so I know he couldn't murder <laughs> like, how do you know people you on that deep no level you have no idea what people would do for 100 grand yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> absolutely terrible damn people like him. I shouldn't be laughing this hard at that <laughs> it just fell into place but if it? it's any comfort people listen to this show for things like that I know they do I, I keep getting stopped by mental people on the street being you say things like you are mate you say there's a fella there's a fella sent me a message from Canada and he, he was like I listened to he's originally from here but he's he's living in Canada now and he, he works in the hospital he's in a band as well but he 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 says to me, mate, I've just found your podcast. They're amazing, blah, blah, blah. Really, really love it. Gives me a wee taste of home. And then he sent me this message the other night. It was like, mate, it was 3 a.m. and I was driving in to do a shift in the hospital and I near crashed the fucking car. <laughs> laughing at the podcast? Or is he just yeah, going mad? he literally pissed his pants. And then he says he closed his eyes laughing. And then he had lost control of the car. He's like, it was lucky it was 3 o'clock in the morning because it was just like fucking like, he was in Canada. I laughed. I've never Can you pissed. tell me why you took out so many people? I was like, first of the mud blood fuck's here. It was amazing. His boy spiked his mouth. The fuck are we dogs here? It blew off. <laughs> I mean, like, I've laughed hard. I've never laughed so hard I pissed myself and near fall asleep. I think we did speak about that, didn't we? Where I pissed myself and stayed. We did, yes. Right, so and that's you, done. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the, the odd thing about that is that nobody even knew I was doing it see when I realised that like, like you can't piss yourself without people knowing that you're standing patient I just changed, felt so free no it changed the game for me I was like <laughs> changed the game do you know when you see people shaking in the supermarkets have you seen no. the videos have you seen, have seen. You see, you've seen them like people standing in the supermarket and they go and they take a wee shake in the fridge and then <laughs> and you're going what the fuck like <laughs> what the fuck do you piss yourself in the supermarket no but I'm just saying like if I ever was going to shit myself I wouldn't panic about it you know because people actually don't know you do. they might smell it but they don't know you're actually doing it like physically you're standing there you think in your head everybody knows exactly what you're doing but they don't you'll be the only guy standing beside the cereal with a fucking bright red face going <laughs> some people don't shake like that have you ever seen the ones that do shake like it's not that they're struggling to get it out they literally pull their paws down next minute there's a wee thing in their way <laughs> fucking I do they not know about cameras like in the next month they just take a wee they're going to get caught I, I, but at the same time I can't empathise but sometimes you do just oh, fuck need you, a shake like, sure I spoke about that didn't I in the taxi did we, did we talk about that one what was the story that I um, was doing a fur right, until somebody uh, was it this podcast I don't know I, I don't know this story I get mixed up no I got a fur to like somebody says what was the like your lowest point in the taxi and I was like I was I was uh 
I was taking a fur from the town, the Newton Arts, two girls, you know, and they were like, how much is it going to be to the Newton Arts? And I was like, it's going to be about 25 quid. And they were like, okay, take us in then. And we're going up and just past Tully Cornet, and I couldn't hold it anymore. And do you know what's come to that bit of the, the Geo Carries way, way there? And you're heading up the hill as if you're going, and there's like a housing estate, and then there's the rake that takes you up that farm and all. Yeah, I so know exactly. That's I right where. Liter- I literally pulled in there, my girls had be two minutes, and big packet of baby wipes, and down in the bushes, and I could hear them going, What do you think he's doing? And then once it was over, like three minutes, they were sort of going, He's definitely not just doing a pee. You know, that's what they were talking about. I was going, so I came back into the taxi and they were like what were you doing there and I says a shit <laughs> I'm sorry I couldn't hold it but it's far better than you sitting having the smell in the back wasn't it <laughs> and the two of them were disgusted right but when we cut down to Newton Arts it was like 28.50 and your woman was like I'm not paying an extra 3.50 for you to have a shit <laughs> We agreed in 25 and I said, that's all right. I just fired up for like, I, if, if a tax man tried to be like an extra fiver, I'm like, you took a shit, man, shit. I'm not paying for your shit. But I mean, no, what can I do? It was, it was the best option. I wasn't going to do with the one. No, like, Aye. shitting and fucking out the window. <laughs> I don't even know how, else, how you physically could. <laughs> right, so um, last week we got asked a question about a guy asking us how we get started in gigs and stuff. Right. And we both agreed it was too big a question to end an episode on. Right. What was his name, do you know? I can't fucking remember. It was Michael Michael Hazeltine, um, from London. It's not Michael Hazeltine. Well we'll just fucking let on, you know who it is. So <laughs> people I mean, uh, people know who Michael Hazeltine. I knew who he was. You know who Michael of course you do, you're a prod. Why do you think I like Michael Hazeltine? Because he's a Tory. I sl- and you think I like Tories? Yes. Fuck you. You fucking cock. You must be the only left wing Protestant I know. Well, not like I don't know why you think all prods are, are you right left wing. wing? Y- yeah. Well, modern terms are classic liberal. Right, that's like I would like these people who are like just let a five year old fucking wear a dress to school. Well John, you can't do that. Yeah, fuck it, yeah, I'm left wing. Yeah. Mm. I'm not one of these like woke warriors that you get now. Who are like trying to shut anyone down for anything? A left wing capitalist or a left wing? I actually don't mind capitalism if it's fair. See, there you go. That's it. You're a left wing capitalist, then. Yeah. yeah. Do you know? But see, if someone's like, I, I, if someone's like, you, you start a business and your business earns money, I think that's fair. But if your business isn't paying fucking tax and you get out of it through loopholes and you don't pay your fucking staff fair, that bothers me. But sorry. We, there's no window to our hut and we're going to just hear someone get murdered. Yeah. That's my neighbours. That's the noisy neighbours. Um, That's the housing executive part of my area. But back to what we were saying, your first gig, take me through the... What got you in the stand-up? How did you get involved in stand-up? Basically, I got my finger bit off working on the door. Our cameraman's laughing at that because he's, he's evil. And he's my fucking brother. And it's your brother. brother. <laughs> Bastards. Yeah. <laughs> He's laughing because it was his school teacher. <laughs> Fucking hold the phone, what? <laughs> Your school teacher bit his finger off. My PE teacher. <laughs> what the fuck? Did you not know that before? I didn't know what bit of it. What did you know? That you got your finger bit off by on the door by someone. See, there was a lot of Chinese whispers in the comedy circles. People say it was a dog and then it was this and it was all them things, but it was a yeah. he was a school teacher, yeah. How do you get away with it? How do you get away with it? How do you get away with biting someone's finger off? It's a really good court case, you know. It went up against me and it was like a school teacher against a doorman. And, and Aye. And it was like West Belfast first, he, the OJ Simpson case. It was. It was like... How your glove didn't fit. It was like... <laughs> sort of like a, lot of, a, lot, a lot of people say that the problem was I couldn't point them out. <laughs> It's mad that I can laugh about it now because back then like, I didn't laugh. So yeah. you're saying about how I get into comedy. So that basically, I had a built-in firm and and I was doing the door at the weekend just for extra money. We were getting married and had a house and we were, it was mad because we went to the Maldives for our honeymoon and the fella there, his son actually got killed doing the door. And he was like speaking to me and Andrew and he was like, listen, 
try and get him out of it because it's really bad like it yeah. was if he knew something bad was going to happen but I did say yes I'm going to get out of it but I was working for my mate and he was like I need to replace you with somebody so you have to give me a couple of weeks so that was in the end of May we got married and went on our honeymoon and I gave him six weeks notice say yeah. and it got till the end of July and I was like you need to really fucking replace me here and he didn't and uh, I went down on Sunday night and got the finger bit off and I went into depression yeah really bad and we were buying a new house I had to let that go um, lost the company yeah because it couldn't work but I didn't realise how bad it had affected me it was trauma mentally yeah yeah mentally I didn't you, you don't know what way you are it's only no. other people can tell you yeah so Andrea then um, was asking around and somebody says <laughs> I'm really he's telling this really serious story and if you can't if it's not coming up on the mic all we can hear from outside is someone just going ah ah is it the dog and, no and it's really it's okay. <laughs> and it's really hard for me to focus on this it's, story. I didn't bring any of my kids with me. They're still all up to party, aren't they? Yeah. Right, so it's not that I've left the child yeah. on the chair. Someone look after that screaming <laughs> child. <laughs> Is the child okay? Like, are you sure it's not the dog? It's definitely the, that, it's definitely the, the, the dog. dog does not have a human voice. It's no, but the dog, the dog does make us like... <laughs> it's not... No, I can't hear it anymore. Right, sorry, we interrupted the story. <laughs> so you lost, you know, you don't know how it affects you. You don't know how it affects you. And then my mental health went, and Andrew just was saying what they do, what they do. And somebody in her family said, tell her, bring him the comedy night. And she looked up comedy Belfast, and Graham Watson came up, Pavilion. Yeah. And she applied, and next minute she says, I'm bringing it to a comedy gig. And we went on the Monday night to the pavilion and I, and I got up and loved it yeah it was like drugs oh it's I was addicted from the first one like yeah that's when people are always like how does it feel you're like I actually like you lose interest in actual drugs because they're just not oh, yeah, no, they're nothing, just not as good nothing gives you that effect nothing it, like of performing because people, people like it's just being in front of people it's not it's, it's not, doing that and doing it well well yeah and then and then making people laugh and I don't know it's just you just go I want to do that again I want to do that again I want to and it was just like I need to do more and it was just just really then went from there yeah um so on that note like what was your worst your worst gig worst gig was Derry Gunley where the fuck's that it's in Anaskillen right and what basically happened was um Neil Dugan had done this gig so gold they, medal so, so, what? <laughs> Gold, have you never seen the set? I love Neil Lugan, so he knows I'm not slagging him. He knows I'm, so we've talked about it, the set he has online. Right. <laughs> where he just dies on his arse. Right. And he just has a bit where he's like, he's running through Northern Ireland and all the sports. Right. And he just goes, Gold Medal! And, then, and every time I see him, oh, you just, I just think, Nick, Gold, Gold Medal! What's he hear his name? <laughs> yeah. But, uh,. So he had done it, and it was all like, man, McFadden's had done it and all this here. So the guy contacted me by phone, and I was like, go ahead, I'll I'll, I'll do the gig. Hey, me actually, I have a DVD here that I'll send you, and uh, you can watch it and see what you think. And he was like, right, okay. And I, said, <coughs> I actually sent him the original Dagger show. Right. And he... <laughs> <laughs> that screaming child. It chime. must be the dog. Is it the dog? It must be the dog. Why does your dog make that noise? It's just, it's just... This dog sounds like he's fucking asking for political prisoner status. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna start singing Grace. He's 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 a half German pointer. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna turn the gas on the minute right up when. <laughs> and just want you to just to be a bit naughty leave, you leave me in the house leave your shoes at the door yeah I've bitten your brake break pipes I want to see how you stop tomorrow it is the dog it is the dog it is I know. Um, is this paused or is it still I'll just let it roll alright we're gonna let it I have no idea how this will sound but we'll find out worst gig then so Derry Gunley so I sent them the dagger show and I was like if that if they like the dagger show they will fucking I, I mean it was it's the story of my stag do yeah so I sent him it and the guy was like yeah 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 got your DVD and watch it and all that's grand then we'll get you booked up and down and all and fucking that's it and I was like right happy days 
So drove down one Friday afternoon and Derry Ganley's basically just a street in, in Anniskillen, right beside the border. And there's this big massive community hall and they were all walking in with food. And it was just basically like the Waltons. Do you know what the Waltons is? Um, is that the big fucking family? Yeah, in America. Big house. Sort of thing, like, Good night, John boy. Exactly. And that's what it was like. And I was like, oh fuck, how's this going to go? And I get up on stage and there was a bunch of old boys right here which looked like war veterans which it turned out to were and I went Jesus boys don't let themselves go <laughs> and they had booked me to do a half an hour and it, it was like tumbleweeds I'm, like, I'm and straight I, away straight away like, it was like, it. so I was like fucking hell and they, they just didn't want they didn't want the, they didn't want to fucking do anything sorry the, and, the dog uh, has gotten in <laughs> And it's just bouncing. Uh, leave him, he'd be alright. He'd lie down, he'd lie down in a minute. Just close the door, yeah. So, it was like tumbleweeds anyway, and... Uh, <laughs> this dog's going fucking mad. Uh, so you've it, just went, boys don't let themselves go. And it was like, but I was I was going to myself, I've drove down here, and if I don't get paid, it's like two and a half hour drive. I'm doing the fucking half an hour. So I stood up there for half an hour and it was like nobody was laughing. But I found out later on that somebody in the audience actually contacted me and says, listen, they were physically going about telling people not to laugh at you. Because you said that till... The war veterans? Yeah. Fuck. And they took the make off me and a guy came on stage took the make off me and his exact words was, and that, my friends is an example of someone from a segregated community Stop. and it turned out he was Stop. the chief constable of the police down there Sorry. He's in... oh are you, are you doing alright there? no oh, stop it Jago come here <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. I love this <laughs> we got the dog on camera we'll just pick this this will do the best out of any other oh, clips yeah. yep <laughs> right so that's, that's we're good. joined by Martina Anderson how did you feel about losing the dairy seat? He's too dark. He's too dark. That's right? me getting shot. It's too dark for? <laughs> oh, she's blonde, isn't she? Oh, I thought you were implying she was racist. Oh, right. Really? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> You're right. definitely going to get shot. I'm down. And what you. about you? What was your first gig? My first gig. So, I had planned to do stand up for a long time. I wasn't like you fell into it. Yeah. I've always wanted to do it. Always. Right. But around the time of doing my first gig, it's really hard to focus on the story when the dog's fucking going through the <laughs> uh, For those listening, the dog's are biting the fuck out of Paddy's hands. He's just showing you what the teacher does. <laughs> <laughs> Reconstruction. He thinks, it, he thinks it was really rough what happened to me. <laughs> rough, wasn't it? <laughs> rough. So uh, I had planned to do my first one for ages. It was in January on the January the eleventh, January twenty fifteen. But what had happened just before was my mum died. Right. Right. And the thing with my mum died, it was like I'm not even gonna get it. it's not. Yeah. You're over it. No, man. It's not yes. a good story. I'll just tell yeah. it as this. She got diagnosed in September. Was dead by January. Right. Like there was okay. nothing wrong with her at the time. So it was a weird oh, fucking time. Yeah. The day she died was the day I had booked to do the gig. Holy fuck. And I still went and did it. Did you? Yep. Wow. On the day your mummy died? Yep. It, it, it's really hard to take you serious as you wrestle a dog. And you're, you're like... <laughs> your mum died, And the dog's like licking his face. <laughs> um, yeah, so... Um, the, the, my, like, but her and my dad had split up a short time before that. So it was just me, her and my sister in the house. And then she died. For me, it was that same thing it was for you. I was it so mentally scrambled that I had to be like this one thing... I'll focus on that yeah. and that's what I'll pay attention to and you know sort of gear your energy into that so that's it was just my way of dealing with it so I did my first stand up that night Jesus that's I thought mine's was dark like but that's serious mine's dark like really dark yeah, yeah, but yeah, like because yeah. I've, no, I've often thought in my head like what if something happened to somebody how yeah. would I feel about stand up yeah you know if I was in the middle of say say <clears throat> The fucking gig in the Ulster Hall and somebody close to me something happened to them yeah could you go on and do it like that's that's what I was thinking you know if it now no but this was like my first one no no I get it I get um, it I, I'm just saying I would think that most comedians would actually think about that at some stage for me I feel like ha like I would like and it's not even being like I owe these people it's for me 
Yeah. It's I enjoy doing this and it distracts me for two hours. Yeah. I would still do it. So that's <laughs> this is fucking amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Just open the door. <laughs> we bought you're ruining this show, Jacko. He sabotaged it, didn't he? Yeah, we Are you part of the TUV, you wee fucker? <laughs> He's fucking knocking lights out. <laughs> I just open the door he will, he will go oh you'll behave now don't tell him he, he'll, uh, he'll just do so um, yeah so that was my first one you went um, it I was also it. pavilion went up how, mm. how did it go grand grand looking back like you're embarrassed to watch it back now do you know what I mean yeah. but, but for, you, for your first for day, my first time yeah it was grand grand yeah, yeah well, it had to be for you to do it again y- yeah well I was always doing it like this yes uh, I can't stress to people like see since I was a kid I think I was like seven or eight watching Never Mind the Buzzcocks. I was just like, you get paid to do this, you're just fucking about. I was like, in, yeah. my, in my mind, I was that's like, that's the job for me. Yeah, I was like, that's all I, all I want to do. Even in school, the teacher's like, but what are you going to do if it doesn't work out? And I'm like, nah, but it will. Like, it wouldn't even enter yeah. your head that it did. Yeah. So I never said I would have been a comedian, but in school, I was a messer. Like, yeah. Did every single one of your reports say <laughs> disrupts him, distracts himself and disrupts those around him? Because I'm the exact same. Every single one of them. And then, and, do you know what? It got to the stage where I could do, like, our headmaster. He was a Christian brother and he spoke So like you this. could he, do him, our He was like, oh, I could do him, you know. And he was like, I'm brother man. And so I would have went up and he, he started going a wee bit insane the, the older we got in school. Cause one, <laughs> what do you mean? Because one day, he, like, he would have said stuff that didn't make sense. Uh-huh. so he, he done an assembly one time and he, he came in and we all had our jumpers on it was the summer and he went I see the vast majority of your mothers have been in the spare and got the des that's on offer because your shirts are all really white and we were all like what the fuck's he talking about <laughs> the dog is just headbutting everything in this fucking room Jacko <laughs> dead just put him out we're gonna have to put him out Jacko come on we're gonna have to do yeah, yeah. Johnny Adair in the early 2000s. You're getting put the out, dog out the fuck. <laughs> I'll car if you be 40 R playing. You're not the comeback. Who do you think you are, fucking Michael Stone? Right here. <laughs> dog has sabotage. Stop beating my fucking lead. Is he he's munching the fucking leads? How do we get him out? Yeah, maybe that's what happened to the lead. Yeah. There we go. Fuck me. <laughs> I'm not a political prisoner. <laughs> He's got to run for. He's got to run, go, run for MP now. <laughs> right, so um, he started going crazy. Been look, look at all of the dads in your shirts. Yeah, and then, so and then I could imitate him. So the next day, before all the teachers came in and he came in, I uh, I jumped up and turned the make on, and then started doing promo. So I was up promo. Like, so I was like. <laughs> How's it going, lads? I'm promo. I'm here today to do this wee promo for you know. And I started to do it. And everybody was in stitches. And then it went from him to another teacher. To do Mama Karen. She was a science teacher. She spoke like this here. And then I started imitating the teachers. And then everybody thought it was great. So then I picked up and do it. And the face principal seen me doing it. And thought it was a gag. So they had all these people in for a careers day. We were all like getting the fifth year. And they were from shorts and FG Wilson's and all these companies and they got me up to do like voices and none of them people knew you and the people <laughs> so you had all these businessmen all sitting there going what the fuck watching like some 14 year everybody, everybody in school is laughing their head off and I was really going for it all and uh, I was like it's coming up the ice Wednesday lads it's not allowed to eat the beef crisps and all now because you know they're meat and you get allowed no meat and all and everyone's looking at and you like you're mental these metal. people were going this school don't think we'll employ anybody from this school or even the teachers are a wee bit special to let them come up you know what I mean <laughs> so you could say that I've done gigs then prior do you know what I mean yeah in a sense but I, I, I've never said that I wanted to be a comedian I yeah. remember seeing like in the actual feel of book there was a guy called Patrick McDonald who's obviously the guy who played Owen McLove yeah. in Fall Out Head and I seen his name in it and he was playing the feel of comedy night and I remember going imagine if that was me yeah and then I ended up doing it five, six, seven times whatever I don't you know uh-huh. what I mean so it was that's fair fair fuck so I'm still doing stand up while I was in school yeah, I started because that was the whole thing about me. I remember when I started, and everyone was like, "That's why me. I think you're older because you, you've been around the scene now." When I, you were technically like 
a child. Uh-huh. <laughs> like, I probably shouldn't have been in there. Yeah, yeah. Actually, no, I just turned 18. Or I'm old in school. Right, okay. I'm born, I'm a September. Right, okay. So I was 18 for yes, that I get year. Yes, I get you, get you. But yeah, I was still... Because like, people were like, what are you now, like... 28 and I'm like or no people, some people think I'm like 30 yeah, and I'm like, it's cause you look that way it's cause you have a beard no? it's cause I have a beard I grew a beard now people are like, you're 45 no, aren't if you? you shaved your face you would say that you, you, would, you would either face. think he's just an older fella from Tully Carnet that gets fucking fillers <laughs> yeah. or he's young do yeah. you know what I mean yeah. do you um, get fillers on what on your face what is fillers no like Botox no I have a really chubby face oh right <laughs> it's fucking looking me like <laughs> Just ask Because they're not working if you do. Um, no, they are. You yeah. Don't have, you don't have many wrinkles yet. Because oh, I'm 24. You know, yeah, no, I'm, no, you know, no, I'm a no, wee no, baby. No, no. Um, but yeah, that's always get people being like, are you not like in your early 30s? I'm like, no. I've just, by the time, when I'm 27, I've been doing stand-up 10 years. Mm. Do you know what I mean? So it was a good... Go- every time I was watch- listening to a comedian like give advice, the first thing they'd always say is start young. Yeah, no. I only started when I was 30, 31. Yeah, yeah. 31, yeah. Yeah, and you're 20 or 57 now. Ha ha ha. All back. So that leads me on to the next one. So we've had a lot of people saying, oh, I've been wanting to try stand up, you know, what can I do? I just tell people to give it a go. And I, I, I know at the minute it's hard for people to find gigs and stuff like that, but it is going to open up here on the 24th of May. Yeah. So hopefully then them open mics and just go and give it a go. I mean, I've had a refund. Will open, we'll open mics and shit start? I don't think they'll be back I don't until. Know. I don't, maybe they will, because it might be something for bars during the week or something. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, the best advice is. Find your local open mics. Just go on to Go it. down. Watch yeah. a few first. Yeah, and get get a gig under your belt. I always say to people, find out what you like and then make sure that you have material in that category. Because yeah. why would you go and do stand up that you don't like? Yeah. Because that's all you have material in, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. See my thing is always just I like write about you. Yeah. Is what I always tell people. Yeah. Make something that's distinctly you. Yeah. No as you get on with time I find you do need common ground with people mm-hmm. as you get on because you can't just talk about what makes you different but as a starter I'm like just make something that's distinctly you yeah and it's your own experiences also but at the same time don't tell the story about the time you went to Magaluf with your mates or something and nothing mental happens mm-hmm. it's just like you're the funny one and your mates don't tell that story because mm-hmm. it's only funny around your mates like your stag do story is funny no matter who that unique, is yeah. but like and then the girl came over and she fucking fell and Johnny was like need a hand up and you're like yeah, that's funny to you and your mates and then your mom come over and she'll watch us now he's like nookie nookie <laughs> aye <laughs> there's a lot of that there's a lot of people get up but there is people that just I think the mistake that happens is you'll have people that go because I've had it over the years where people go here mate you want to meet my mate see my mate I play football with funny but like he should do stand up comedy yeah and I was like, right? And he's like, we were fucking, swear to God, like we were in the showers and he, he fucking, he poured shampoo and fucking such and such and then he made that sweet noise and we were all laughing like, fuck, like, see if he don't stand up, like, fuck, he'd be brilliant. And you're going, yeah. no, he wouldn't. No, he wouldn't. It don't was funny it. in that scenario. See, he's a fucking laugh here. He got this truck, drove it across the fuck. border, had f- fucking f- families in the back, forgot the fucking open, didn't they? Fuck. Joker, bur- get him off. He burnt four cats at the bonfire, we were laughing like, fuck's over, oh, he'd be brilliant at stand up, wouldn't he? <laughs> <laughs> do you ever get there like he'd be brilliant stand up and then you have to talk to them and it's just like some mentally unhinged cunt shouting ideas at you and I'm like I don't enjoy some this. of the funniest people I know gen- like genuinely don't do stand up comedy no, no some of the funniest people I know are like not deliberately funny uh, and they don't even know they're funny Hundred, they don't even yeah, like you'll laugh yeah, and they're yeah, like yeah they're, they, they are they, yeah. yeah they don't even realise that some of their comments like do you know Guy Croft yes you know Gary I know right? Gary I know we Gary Croft Gary can come off with a, and I mean this he has absolutely some of the comments he would make like driving me and him he used to go to all the gigs with me right and see some of the comments that Gary would come off with I, and, and I mean he literally blew me away uh-huh. but he just doesn't have the confidence to get up and do stand up no. now he's done it yeah but it just seems to be when he's up he just doesn't yeah. have the confidence but then it's a big part. That's an, another thing I would tell people to confidence. If you don't have that, you're in trouble. Yeah. Believe you, in yourself. If, no, but if you get up there and you go, uh, 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 uh I was uh, fucking. Uh, uh, uh. No, but some of them don't even do that. Some of them, and then they forget. Like, 
how you used to know that I was forgetting what I was saying because I don't write stuff down as you know yeah so I would have wanted to do something and I would have got a brain fart we all got it on stage yeah I used to go it's great to be here tonight <laughs> that was my <laughs> That's, I used to always do it it's great to be here tonight and then I, and then I would have went fucking that <laughs> I do that too I go fucking that's what I'm not thinking and then, and then, it, and then it used to come to your head so that's how you would have knew do you have a technique for when you've like sort of stumbled on stage do you have a thing nah, I do, but I don't tell anybody about it no what I do is start waking someone in the crowd well that's part of what I do like. yep, yep. but then, I have a trigger in my head yep. and it's something that I do mm-hmm. I'm not telling anybody not what tell, it is no. so, so it's your wee secret but it's my wee secret yeah. we all have I our own myself <laughs> <laughs> Think about Lord shite nobody just knows you're doing And then the next man just goes to another. That's what he see when he goes, uh, good to be out tonight, he's just shitting. He's <laughs> gonna be shit in the supermarket. <laughs> Alright, so we only have fifteen minutes left, we may get on the questions. Right, we'll have a lot more stories I want them, but they'll have to do another week. Yeah. Because yep, they deserve yep. the time. Oh yeah, yeah. So uh, again, sorry if you've sent in questions and we don't read them. Um, thank you so much but we're getting fucking flooded with them every I week. know like see these stupid fucking questions like we want to address this can we address yes, this yes address this because I'm fucking there's people sending in like serious fucking topics right come with stress to you right if you're listening to this and you think this is a serious discussion because it's two communities come together this is genuinely not why we have this yeah. right we're here to make a cunt out of ourselves as much as you, right? So see when you send in questions like, let me give an example. Um, do you think the children would benefit from integrated uh, education in our society and would it bring up? Yes, 100% possibly. This isn't the fucking show for those questions. So keep them for when we, when we take over from Stephen Nolan. Yeah. And we'll, we'll, we're going we're gonna to do this Nolan So Could you imagine it? I would love if we took Today over Today on the Mudblood Talk Back Programme, <laughs> the biggest talk show in the country. William and Paddy, here we go. Here we go, go ahead, Dirk. Hiya, my name's Maggie. I'm from um, Dundell, and, and I'm really having problems. Can I ask you a serious question here? No, you fucking can't. William, <laughs> what would you say to her? <laughs> fuck? And here we've got Jim Allister on lane two. Jim, go fuck yourself. So I would have all the weirdo, like all the culties being on me. Like, and what do you think? What am I supposed to say to my children when they're teaching dudes to be gay? You'd be getting angry at them. I'd be going, sorry, mate, guys, and they're up. How big is a horse's dick, really? Like, I just want to <laughs> I just want to know. <laughs> Did you ever watch? Have you ever watched On the Air? Which was Jerry, Jerry Anderson's Anderson. show. I met him before. Yeah, it's... Like see, see, he was on the radio. And yeah. It was funny. They've turned him into cartoons. Yes, I yes. That's how I'm aware of it. There's one where you're mad. They're talking about hypnotizing chickens. That's the kind of shit you want to listen to. That's yeah. That's not like, Stephen Nolan talking about fucking yeah. in the subway and like I, getting fat and can't go to America because he's to pay for two <laughs> seats in a fucking plane. Yeah, like I could tell you my opinion on like prosecuting troubles. Yeah, like that, perpetrators. That another, yes, that was but, another question that was brought up about the Paula Murphy people. Yes, I 100% agree. They deserve justice. It took 50 years and yeah. blah, blah, blah. But this isn't the show for that. You know, people are listening to this like, in I work think, sites, in groups. But I think this is more trying to find out yeah. about us yeah. more than anything. It's like when people meet me and they go, here, Polly, especially being on stage. Yeah. You do that fucking... It's always happens. It's a Jimmy so, Savile. No, there's somebody... Nolan, on, Nolan, Patrick. There's always, there's always some cop with Stan smoking outside a bog and I say it. And they'll go, what's your mom does comedy? And you came out from doing a fucking kick and he would go, here, what are you doing that fucking stand-up, Alex? Don't do you are. Here, do you know what fucking, fucking boy the blender bastard do you? And I used to go... I can't get us. Is that his name? Is that the same one? Big fat cunt does the fucking stuff about fighting on your gun. <laughs> Jacko, shush. <laughs> Your dog's comic timing is amazing. <laughs> but but the, always what happened is they would turn around and go, <coughs> "Is Colin Gattis a Protestant?" Every time. Yeah. Is Shane Todd 
a Protestant is Shane Todd a Fenian yeah. and I always tell them what they don't want to hear Yeah. like I tell them that Gaddis is a Jew Muslim <laughs> and they go what do you mean and go, well, he goes to a tabernacle and all so he does he goes to be fucking hanging his head up but you don't know that there yeah. And they're like, really, really, really? And then they go, oh. It's all people want to know is like, which side, like me and you are very open about which so side I, are. I think well, that's what people's trying to find yeah. out there. Um, what Will says is, if it's too serious and there's no fun in it, we won't really touch it. Private message me, I'll yeah. talk to you about it. Wait till I'm steaming at three in the morning on a Saturday and I'm like, I'll tell you what I think. I <laughs> once William gets his wee dose and I'm, he'll send talking I'll, for I'll hours. fucking tell you what I think. No, I'm one of those, like when they're drunk, probably going, like, no, no, look at me, Red <laughs> That's what I am. Like somebody says at the party, you no, know, and it's been all class all night, and then the music gets turned off, right? And you're well kicked up, and somebody leaves the room, and there's only three is left in the living room, and one of them turns around and goes, "No, seriously, but have you ever thought about it? Like, do you think there actually is an edge of the world, and you can fall off, and you go, what? Like, I think it is. I think it's like flat earth, and you normally used to go, right? Well, you've just killed my fucking buzz here. Yeah. And you look at the other person, and you're like, please say the magic words taxi to the garage for Felix yeah. so it didn't yeah. escape that's that's like it's yeah. like somebody pulling that off <laughs> it, it, it really is it's like someone's getting really intensive you, you get that at parties everyone's vibing someone's just like what do you really think about 9-11 you're like I'm not thinking about it I know so um, so we're grateful that you listen and we're grateful yes. that you send questions in but seriously then we fucking won't, chill so. yes no and see the Mari shag and see, forget about them and yeah. that, we're not even addressing them anymore so don't waste no, yourself I, fucking doing it DJ AWOL88 asks the real shit. Go ahead. Would one of you fight Connor Burns? Well, I can't fight him. Why? Just can't. Why? I just can't fight Connor Burns. It wouldn't be a fair fight. I don't see. See, I would, if it was for charity, I'd do it. But. He would beat you? No, he wouldn't. But. William, he would beat you. He can punch. I'm telling you now, he would beat you. He's a heavy dude, I don't know that. He can dig. He's not, I'm not right, I'm not gonna sit here on camera and listen to someone tell me I get my fuck knocked in by Connor Burns. He, no, I'm telling you he would beat you because I know I know what way that fate would go. How would it go? He hasn't been beat by anybody. Have, right. If, if you're gonna claim that the reason Connor Burns would beat me is because he beat Paddy Barnes, we will sit and watch this fight and you can talk me through all of his skill. Cause I've seen the fights. Right. Well you can take out that whatever you want. All I'm saying to you is if you went in there and beat Connor Burns, you wouldn't be very popular. Do you think I give a fuck about being popular? It's all about no, that listen. goal. I'm not right. And this is what I was gonna say. I would do it for charity, but I can't because I can't take punches right. to the head. So, so it can't happen. So if you did fight him for charity, yeah, would you beat him? <laughs> yeah, I think it's even. Do you know our oh, Jesus Christ? <laughs> well, do you think they're going to give it to you? The decision. Do you think they're going to go over to Connor? And go Connor. You do know he's in the Paralympic team. You can't beat him in this one. We're going to have to give William the decision. Do you, what do what you if I do like a WrestleMania two? I body slam him, get DQ'd. That way I keep my pride and he gets the win. I think it's mad that you're even thinking of beating Connor Burns. I think it's mad that you think I can't beat Connor Burns. That's like me saying I'm like, not saying I want to, right? Far Scum's content. Right, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, right. Here's the thing, right? I'm not saying I want to do it, but if someone came up to you and went, Oh, could you beat Stevie Wonder? I think Stevie Wonder would knock a fuck out of you. You would be like it would be a bad thing to do, but if it came down to it, I'd beat the fuck out of Stevie Wonder. If he can drive a fucking car, he can fit. He can't drive a car. He's he can't. Gone. Stevie Wonder. Yes. No, he can't. Yes, he can't. No, he can't. Yes, he can't. When did Stevie? You uh, Google it for next week. Right, we're looking that because yeah, I am certain Stevie blind Wonder, men can't Stevie drive. Stevie Wonder drives a car. Y- you've heard of white man can't have jump. You seen him blind catch, man can't have drive. Have you seen him catching the microphone on stage? <laughs> I thought. I've seen that. He didn't catch yes, it. Yes, he fucking did. It, it fell on his arm. No, he didn't. He put his hand out and caught it. See, where was like, he reached out and caught it. Stevie Wonder stands like that all the okay. time. No, he didn't. And he drives Do you know car. why Stevie Wonder walks? Have you ever seen that episode of The Simpsons? You know why Stevie Mr. Wonder Burns walks? is the alien? And he comes out of the forest and he's just like, I bring you love. That's how Stevie Wonder walks all the time. <laughs> Do you ever wonder why blind people wear fucking sunglasses? Because they look cool. But it's, <laughs> it's like Oscar Pistorius. because when they take the glasses off. It's like Oscar Pistorius banned fucking trainers. Or insults. I mean, it's, he doesn't need them. Oh, he does, because he'll be cutting up the ground with them no, as he, he wants. No, he wouldn't. He has fucking blades. Exactly, they're going to cut up a grass. 
He fucking does need insult. It's fucking ridiculous. Why do blind people wear sunglasses? But because if they it's not like oh fuck insult fucking blind. Have you ever seen <laughs> what's the name of that that opera singer? Pavarotti? No, no, the blind one. Uh, Andrea Bocelli. Bocelli. He doesn't wear sunglasses and it's like watching The Undertaker sing live in concert because he's just... <laughs> <laughs> That's why they wear sunglasses. Oh, she did so they don't freak people out with her head. I imagine so. Uh, do you know what I'm Sorry, my, my appearance discomforts you. <laughs> That's why I think that dude, there's a better reason someone let me know. <laughs> I thought they were just being kind and courteous to all of us. I actually farted there. <laughs> <laughs> Did you shit yourself in the you're middle like, of my story like, again? <laughs> Do you know I, mean? I think they're just like nobody wants to see this. <laughs> awesome. Oh my god! <laughs> then the head swing and all doesn't freak out. Isn't much. she lovely? <laughs> Is, imagine this whole time <laughs> he comes out. There's like I. <laughs> he comes on dumb. I want to hear Stevie Wonder remix The Undertaker's theme. Be fucking class. Um, next one. <laughs> uh, <laughs> sorry. Um, Platini 120. Where can I watch footage of the infamous spar incident? I assume Oof. this is when you pile drove a man outside YouTube? the spar. YouTube it's on. Uh, he says he can't find it. I don't know. Paddy doesn't like. Um, Paddy doesn't take clips of himself fighting uh, and she, then upload she them. And Todd has it on his Patreon. Does he actually? Yeah. Uh, I'll find any alcoholics. <laughs> Does he actually? Well, it was part of a podcast that done with him. Oh, right. I thought, thought he just had that. I thought he just. But had if you video. were on his Patreon, you would know about that. Yeah, I'm not. <laughs> Who could teach? I, I do one Patreon a month. I, I think if I'm you go on Paddy McDonald on YouTube, it comes up. Okay. Who could teach a lesson about ratting? Us or the boys in Gaza? We're not even close to the boys in Gaza. What? What do you mean? They're wiping the fucking cities off the fucking face of the earth. There's who, bombing. The ratters are? I thought they were just talking about like who's more fucked up, us or the no, Israel Palestine. Oh, I think they're saying there who's a better ratter. All right, who is better? Well, obviously, I don't know. Well, I don't I'm know. on the Israel I've side, pictures. so I'm I've not. I've seen like... pictures of them boys are like they only have rocks. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I've seen pictures of guys in wheelchairs fucking swinging a rock thing, and then they, they assassinated him too. Now, <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know. We're pretty. We were pretty good at it. We were, but we've slipped up. Well, recently, when you say we, we, our country. I don't think you were as good as us. You would say that. That's your. No, side. no, 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 no. That genuinely, gen- mm-hmm. like if you if you asked if you asked. Joe, we soldiers, didn't need to be. We had the you, soldiers on our exactly, side. <laughs> that's my point. But if you do ask, Billy soldiers, like the world tell you that the boys in the falls and all and whatever were. It's forty-seven minutes. Right. Okay. Um, forty-seven. Right. We'll get one more question done. So you think us? I think is uh, Palestine. Okay. The Palestinians are better. Favourite bar to Session Belfast by Big Cass. Lavries. You're not much of a drinker, so. No. Kremlin for Paddy. Paddy, do you have any plans to do the theatre in the mill? Ken, me and 92 wants to know. Yeah. You want to book it, Ken? Go ahead. I'll do it. <laughs> Andrew Ronahan. Ronahan. <laughs> don't know. Have you reached out to anyone to be guests? We'd love to hear Blind Boy on your show. Blind Boy? We have reached out to anyone. Fuck. <laughs> Blind Boy. <laughs> I don't think after tonight we'll get anybody that's playing coming on. Uh, Stevie Wonder's, Wonder's going to be on. on. Um, Dressed up as the Undertaker. <laughs> so we've actually spoken about this. So I think this will be the last question. Thanks again, everyone. Send them in. We just don't have time. Um, we're thinking about once we hit about 50,000 downloads, we'd start a Patreon. Once we start doing the Patreon, I would have a guest episode. Yes. Um, don't be giving too much away, but we yeah. will be. We will be. Oh no, that's I'm that. just saying. Yeah, plans. Yeah, yeah. But that's it. Yeah, that's what we think about guests. Um, Patrick Lavery on mine just basically says, "What made you start a podcast?" I think that both of us just basically thought it was time. Time, yeah. yeah. That and the lack of gigs. You yeah, need yeah, that outlet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Who is your favorite local comedian? Comedian is that different from comedian? A comedian? Comedian? No, it's just someone who can't spell. So right. Who is your favorite friends. local comedian at the moment, and why? Um, um, I, suppose, I used to say you and Jordan basically because mm-hmm. just were fresh, but they're yeah. sort of wrong now. Yeah, Mark McCartney's pretty good. Mark McCartney's very, very good. Um, but because there's not many gigs at the minute, it's really hard. Yeah, to... I'm a big Robbie McShane fan. Right, um, okay. just because I watch his stuff and be like, I don't even know 
how you would come yeah, up but yeah, not yeah. i'm not amazing yeah, a yeah. lot of people like i'll watch and be like i can see where your thought process but him i'm like where the fuck did yeah, that where come, come from? from yeah um then the most serious question that was asked if your granny had balls would she be your granda um no which again is another one see this right that old question mm-hmm. I, i'll put this to bed hi is your granda gonna fuck another granda make that granda pregnant Catlin Drana what is Catlin you stop Jenner? speaking Irish to me you know I don't understand it. are you trying to say Caitlin Jenner not that <laughs> Catlin Jenner her her yeah well she can't get pregnant no but <laughs> so how is she gonna but she is basically some hair balls Kanye nice West's Ma- sons granny and granda She's just the she's just the granny, I think. I think it's two she's granny. Two and grannies. she did have balls, and then they may be cut off. Yeah, they're cut off. Still yeah, but you don't have them, but you don't have the balls. Do you know what I mean? See, people were calling her transphobic, right? Because she was like trans men who go into women should not be playing sport with regular women, right? Yeah. And they call her transphobic. That is shoe aside. She cut off her dick and balls for you. How dedicated do you need to be? Like you, you know. I, I imagine you want an Irish Republic. Are you willing to sacrifice your cock and balls for it, Patrick? That's for another week. <laughs> Join us next week. I think I'd be a nice female president of the United it's gonna, Ireland. It's going to open. I would, if, I, if I was to cut my dick and balls off for United Ireland, I'd like to think that I would step above Jerry Adams to be the new leader of the country. I want to hear you know the song I mean? the Wolf Tones make about you. Do you know what I mean? He lost his cock and bollocks. He gave them so we had our land. <laughs> No, his wife says the sex life is just seriously bland. <laughs> the wolf bones. <laughs> um, now yeah. her wife just uses her hands. <laughs> and not his because he's a finger missing as well. All <laughs> grace, just hold me because I can ride you. Here, just to end on this, have you yep. seen the guy holding up the floor? Oh, the Rangers fan. Yes, we'll end on this. If we're going to edit this in, would you be able to fit this? Could this. you send them oh this video? My. Oh, this is bogging. So basically, it's a guy. Um, they're out celebrating. He's got a red flower, and oh! the flower blows up, and his hand is gone. So <laughs> when he's in work now, and people go, How many titles the Rangers have? He can't go 55. He has to go 55. I, I thought you'd be more sensitive to his case, Patrick, because you're missing fingers too. He's more than missing fingers. Have you seen the picture? Let me show yeah. you the picture, will you? We won't be able to show. We can't show that picture. Actually, that, I might not be able to show the video. Yeah, it's yeah. it's it's pretty graphic. It looks like someone's dropped a lasagna <laughs> on the blue carpet. It looks no, it looks like it looks like chicken pakora. It, it looks like it looks like chicken pakora. It, it looks like raw meat. That that's basically he's just because that's exactly what it is. Yeah, it's yeah. just basic. well, it's a wee bit cooked. <laughs> Fuck me, a wee bit on the sides. That is grim. That is poor fella, poor fella. That's all I can say. Look at him. I think Rangers, be fine. Rangers, the red hot, the red hot, the, the red hot, the monster. <laughs> I think that's a good point to finish it off. (laughs) Yep, see you next week. Yes, thank you for joining us, guys, and we'll see you next week.